back on site. Got my four loads of uh, soil here. A couple good things that we got all that rain was we uh, it let it go down into if there was any settling. And then before I pulled the dozer off this morning, I tracked everything back in. But nothing was eroded. Nothing was, there was no issues with that. And we had some serious rain. Um, the other good thing is the pond is full. Like I said, we had some good rain. But the pond is full up to the point where the overflow on the culvert is. You could raise it to raise it up more if you wanted to. But everything is the way it should be. Got the soil, four loads here. And we will be installing this tomorrow. It's four o'clock now. So I took the equipment out of here today besides what I needed. And catch you in the a.m. Topsoil is going in nicely, roughing it in. Got JJ on the rake, raking it to the patio. 
it was raking it to the water's edge and then i'll just take the harley rake now and blow it in looks like we're gonna have plenty figured perfect um i just blow it in quick with the skid steer and then i harley rake it that's all you do and you know grade it somewhat backblade it i'll backblade the whole thing now with the skid steer to get it close and then uh harley rake Laid it all off and gonna get the Harley rake on now. Get this thing tuned up.
just hand raking out the Harley rake tire marks and all our edging getting it so nice a few more passes down on mortar's edge and we'll rake that out all right my people one step closer to phase three being complete looking good like it should just sprinkled some dirt here on the spots that we disturbed kick that around but there we go look at that if you don't remember what this looked like uh a week ago go back in the videos and take a peek big difference from one week i mean i think that's four four work days you know we had some days of rain that we couldn't get here but what a difference everything flows just as i said from over here to over there i could connect it and use all that monstrosity for fill you know just by looking at it it all worked out all right we got hydro seed on the way erosion mats next Looking good. on site it rained a day and a night had some nice drizzly rain nothing huge thank god uh three o'clock was when they had the hydro seating so i was gonna let it go to the next day that afternoon i was gonna install the mats but it rained the whole day so couldn't get them in gotta let the hydro seed dry because it gets mucky um but now we got rain so it all went down in which is good for the germination and uh the erosion mats are here and they'll be placed today but it looks like there's no erosion up on top this is a gutter right here that comes out that's gonna have to be addressed when they put the pool in that's why it's a little more saturated right there let's take a walk around nice no erosion marks beautiful it looks good i mean like i said we had a day and a half of rain uh, but it was like a slow drizzly rain Just made it absorb and not run Rosier mats will be put on this afternoon <clears throat> after this Sun bakes this for a little bit. I Did this walk when he was hydro seeding and uh, with the GoPro 8, but it had Failed so that's why I don't have it anymore got another seven So I got two sevens the eight had a lot of flaws versus this seven but that looks really good all the blue from the hydro seeding is gone from the rain i think that's just a dye in it that they uh they put so they could see i'm not sure but this one is gonna be a wrap we're gonna get these mats installed this afternoon so we'll be back it's the afternoon i got two rows of erosion mats on 
some pro tips don't do this in the wind by yourself it will roll especially on the slope and at an angle she starts to roll so they're 112 feet long by eight feet wide get some good coverage out of these little rolls all it is is double moving uh nylon mesh with hay in between the in between the nylon so all i'm doing is rolling them out like this so and every eight ten feet put these stakes right here so i just lower this overlap this and make sure it's flashed like this so the water doesn't pull those I mean, on real slope, steep slopes that you can run them this way, that might help you so the water don't get under them. But if you flash them, you'll be good. So I'll just put these in here. I use a rubber mallet or a hammer to hit those in. Put them on the edge. Put some in the center, like so. Yeah, it's all in. That stuff will work too. In a week or so, we'll have green sticking up through, and that stuff will biodegrade down in. You'll never see it. Tell you what, guys, this was a fun project. Probably five days total work days in this. So that was uh, pretty quick. I have to say, from the transformation from what we had to this. And, uh, Look at that, we got a heron trying to land. He's been fishing here all week. And then there's another one that's a albino I've never seen ever with pure white. I tried to get him on film, but he was too smooth. He's in this pond also. But yeah, this is a wrap guys. This is phase three all wrapped up. This was a three part project. If you didn't get it from the beginning, go back in the videos. I'll put a couple links in from the start of this. And like I said, this was a five day project. And it uh, come out excellent. All right, my people. Thank you, everyone. Closing in on 10,000 subs. Let's get it quick. Thank you, and I appreciate. Catch you on the flip side.